Hey, I'm JR here in the video studio today with our resident TV guru, Steve Kindig. And behind us is the Samsung Q60R. Uh, this TV is available in a bunch of sizes from a 43 to a 49, a 55. This is the 65 right behind us, as well as a 75 inch and an 82 inch. And the story here is all about quantum dots, right? It's a QLED TV from Samsung. What does that mean? Right, so, the, so it's an LED backlit TV and the Q stands for quantum dot. And the Q60R series is Samsung's least expensive line of TVs that features quantum dots. And quantum dots are, I can't even say they're microscopic particles because they're tinier than that. They're like literally nano size. They're, you, you measure them in atoms. And they're mm -hmm. these tiny nanocrystals or particles that, that sort of act like uh, lenses almost to, to tune the color that's available in the set. So any TV needs to have red, green, and blue to create the full color spectrum. So with a quantum dot TV, instead of having a white backlight, you have a blue backlight, and then the quantum dot crystals are either um, shaped to create either red light or green light. So that's how you get your combination of blue, red, and green. That's great. We, we do get that custom, uh, question from customers on the phones and chats and emails all the time. What is the quantum dot? Is it the same as OLED? And it's obviously very different from totally OLED. Different. It is Samsung proprietary technology, right. and it's there to make colors more vibrant. Right, and they've been working on this technology now for several years, so they've got it pretty refined, and, and that's part of the reason they've been able to bring it down to these more affordable sets. Plus, quantum is just a cool word. Right. They're using it to describe their processor. It's a quantum processor. Mm -hmm. As you know, the processor is responsible for doing all the work uh, to make that video look good. More and more with 4K TVs, because th there's just a lot of processing to be done to take lower resolution sources, 1080p, yep. DVD, you know, cable box, anything, and pump that up to 4K resolution. And they're even calling their HDR processor the quantum HDR as well. So uh, that's going to get you, again, a high dynamic range, uh, better brights, better darks, and everything in between. More vivid colors. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, the larger TVs, everything from the 55 and up, you also get 120 hertz refresh rate. That's where it's important, right? That's correct. On the 43 and the 49, it's 60 hertz, but really that's fine for those smaller screens because you don't notice motion blur right. that much until you get to the bigger screens. The larger the TV, the more important that becomes. Yep. Uh, you mentioned the uh, uh, upscaling, that's uh, 4K uh, artificial intelligence upscaling, mm -hmm. AI upscaling, uh, which is again, the, what makes your less than 4K source material which is almost everything you right. watch uh, from regular TV, whether it's cable or satellite, uh, streaming from a lot of apps, unless you are paying for 4K streaming, you're not probably watching 4K, and this TV is gonna make that stuff look great. Right, and what's cool about adding AI to the upscaling function is that, um, I mean, these uh, upscaling uh, circuitries are, are based on using databases to create images, but what's cool about adding AI is that it can continue to learn and develop new algorithms based on the content that you're As watching. As you pump new content into it, it becomes smarter, it smarter. about how it upscales. Yeah. Uh, speaking of smart, it's got a lot of pretty cool smart TV features. One of the ones I think is pretty cool is bi-directional mirroring. A lot of TVs have the ability for you to take videos on your phone and send them to your TV. Right. With this TV, you can do that with an iPhone if it's AirPlay 2. You can, of course, do that with uh, most uh, smartphones from uh, Android mm -hmm. and uh, non-iOS devices. Uh, but if you do have a smart Samsung phone, uh, one of the latest, greatest models. You can also take what's on your TV and mirror it to your phone, which is great maybe if you have to go to the bathroom or go right. to the kitchen or go into the front door and you still want to be uh, be able to see you what's on your it, TV. Yeah. You don't want to miss the game or whatever's happening. So it's a pretty cool feature if you have the right kind of Samsung smartphone. Samsung has also uh, got a deal now with Apple, right? With right. Uh, Where you can actually uh, view your purchased iTunes movies and TV shows on the TV, right? You don't need like a, an Apple TV to make that possible. Right, and I think that's one of the coolest features on these 2019 TVs. And while a lot of other uh, TV makers are adding some Apple compatibility this year, right. Samsung is the only one that is giving you access to the iTunes movies and TV shows store through the TV. Yeah. So. That, I, I just think that's It's nice cool. that Samsung and Apple are playing nice yeah. to me because it's making <laughs> right. our lives a whole lot more convenient now. 
Uh, also, of course, it's compatible with Google Home Assistant as well as Alexa. And of course, it has Samsung's Bixby Smart Assistant right. built in. Samsung also realizes that you're gonna spend as much time, if not more, with your TV off than with your right. TV on. Uh, and when your TV's off, instead of it just being a big black rectangle up on your wall, you can invoke ambient mode, uh, which would you, allows you to display some artwork and just make it look really nice even when you're not actually watching yep. it. So ambient mode's kind of cool. And lastly, it does of course have Bluetooth built in so you can output sound to your sound bar or a set of headphones. Uh, and uh, with Samsung, you can leave the TV speakers on while the Bluetooth is on, which is perfect if someone in the family uh, is maybe hard of hearing wants to use Bluetooth headphones and everyone else would also like to be able to hear what's on the TV as well. It's great to have the option to do both. Yeah. Uh, so that is the Samsung Q60R. This is the 65 inch. We've been pretty impressed with it. Uh, it looks pretty great. If you have any questions about this TV or anything else, give Crutchfield a call, chat with us online, send us an email. We're here to help you.